Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for joining us. Today, we will be playing a random game and not editing it at all. I will try my best to explain how to methodically go through and deal with certain situations that may arise. As always, I've got more tips here. You can check out these uh, videos if you have not already. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, of course, uh, first thing I like to do is go for cards in the columns and then focus on the draw pile. This is the draw pile right here. We'll save early cards as insurance. Let's see. Our only move right here and right now is just three. And that's it. So we'll see what we have here. Nothing there. This will be our insurance card. We're going to save it for later. And that's going to be a big card because if we move this ace of hearts, we can also move the two of hearts up as well. But we'll see what we have in the draw pile. Again, this is a blackjack. This is also a blackjack. You want to try to play the one that's earlier in the draw pile because it allows you to manipulate the cards more at least 90 to 95% of the time. There's sometimes there's exceptions to that if there's some weird stuff going on, but generally speaking, you don't want to play this one. Hey, let's see. Nothing there, nothing there. There's another three, a two. We could play the two. I'm reluctant to bring down. I'm really, really hesitant to bring down this two. I don't think it adds any value, and it could uh, bottleneck us later and slow us down. So we're not going to play that. It appears there's no other moves, really. So the only option is to play this jack. And then I believe we're going to play the ace as well. Yeah, because then we can bring down this red jack. If we play two cards, this red jack's going to show next. So we're going to play this ace, and then we'll play this th two of hearts. Oh, that's a good card for us. I think we can play the three, but yeah, we'll play it up there. Okay, now we can move this nine of diamonds over. And we can move this four of spades over. That's good for us. We can move this eight of diamonds over. That'll open up a column. Should we find a king, we can move one of these two queens over. And, of course, the next time around, we're going to play this jack, which this red jack of hearts over here, which is going to allow us to move this ten of, club, ten of spades underneath it and open up that column as well. So that's the plan going forward here. And, of course, see if we have any more moves. Uh, nothing there. Again, this two of spades doesn't really give us any value bringing it down, so we'll leave it up there. The seven's a good card. And I am going to hold off on moving the six, just in case there is a six in one of these columns here. Just in case we may want to move the six that's in one of these columns, should there be one first before we move the six over. If we were pushed for space, we would move it, but we can always move it later too. We will bring the five down. Okay. And we do have one king. It's a red king. We will probably play it this time around. Let's see if there's any other moves we missed. There's another king. Now, like I said, I like to play cards later in the draw piles, typically, unless they're the same kind. So if we got this king of spades, and then we have earlier, if we go back a few moves, there's the other king. We're going to want to play this king first, I think. So let's see what else is here. Three of diamonds. I'm not sure that I want to bring that down yet. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on those low cards, bringing those down. Because they're not really helping at all. So we are going to give this, not this king a try. We're going to give this jack a try. And then we'll play this king. If that combination doesn't work, we can take a look at the red queen and play that as well. All right, let's try this. And remember, we've got this 10 we can move. And more importantly, now we've got two different moves here. We're going to start with the 5 of diamonds, and then we'll work our way to the 8 of clubs over here. So 5 of diamonds right there. That's a great card for us. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. If we can keep these columns going, we've got it. Let's start with the 8 of clubs here. We've got like three moves we can make. So let's start with this. Ace of clubs, that's good. We can put the ace of clubs up top. Another eight. But again, the eight came from right here. So let's see what's under this ten. Okay. Now we've got a decision here. 
There's two nines, and we don't know which one to apply. We really don't. But we're going to take a look at both options and use the, un oops, use the undo feature if we have to. And then I prefer generally the one that opens up a column. So this one got us the four diamonds. We'll go right here. That got us the king, which gets us, well, we can move the six over. And then see where the king, oh, that's a good card. That allows us to move the other nine, which means that will be the move we make. And another good card, we can move this eight underneath it. So looking good. Oh, that's a great card too. Seven of diamonds. And now we can move the ace of diamonds up top and then move this two of diamonds up. I believe we can play the seven and the four. Was that the front of the draw pile? It may have been the front of the draw pile. I may have played a little too fast. I may want to take those back. We'll see. The six can go over here now. Uh, no, we'll hold off on that. Just in case. So we can move this king. We may have played a little too fast in the front of the draw pile. I'm going to see how it resets and then maybe do something, maybe not do something. We'll see here. Six of clubs we can play. We just got a windfall of cards there, but we got to manage it carefully because we can still not solve this game. So the queen, oh, this is good. This queen's going to be our first uh, card for insurance. If you've probably already seen, you'll notice there's a queen here that could be moved as well. We're going to move this. That's a king. We need to open up that column, so we're going to move this six over. And now we can move this king over here. The queen, that's good. And there's an ace of spades, that's also good. This jack, when we move this card for insurance, we will get to this jack, and then we can move this ten of diamonds underneath the jack. But we're going to play it conservatively. We want to move as many of these cards in the back as we can. I think it's okay at this point to move the three, so I'm going to move it here. The three of spades it is, because there should be like a two. If we don't, there's no two spades up here. There should be a two of spades under one of these two cards, and we'll get it the next time around. So, yeah, let's just go through here. Oh no, there's there's the two of spades. It's right up here. We just got to figure out how to get to it here. Oh, there we are. We have the two of spades. We can move that up. Now we can move the three of spades up and four of spades up. And I think we're going to play the diamonds. Four of diamonds, five of diamonds. And I don't think there's anything we can play yet. We'll just go through again. There's a card we can play. The five of spades. We'll play that up. We can play the six of spades up. And uh, I think this three of clubs will drop next, I believe. If we only played one card, the three of clubs will drop. There it is. We can play the three of clubs. That's good. We'll play that up. And the next card we're going to want to play is the four of clubs. And I'll show you how to get that out of there in just a minute here. We can also play the seven of spades as well. So the next card we want to play is this four of clubs, but it's buried. No problem. I'll show you how to get it. If you'll notice, we've saved this card as insurance, and there's a good reason we did that. Because we're going to play one card, not two, not two. We're not going to play two or three cards. We're just going to play one card. We can come back, and we can play these other two cards later. But we're going to want to put this four of clubs at the very front. So that's our goal here. And I think, let's see what cards were behind that. I don't, yeah, we're not going to want to move these other two cards yet, so... So I'm going to cycle through here, and when I click right here, the next card should be the four clubs. There it is. Okay, now we're going to play everything we have. So, I'm going to play the four clubs, I'm going to play this jack, I'm going to play this jack, and then we can start moving cards up. Five of clubs up, six of clubs up, six of diamonds, seven of diamonds. Let's see, seven of clubs up, eight of spades, nine of spades. We're going to move the eight of diamonds up. We're going to move this card over, move the nine of diamonds up, and we've pretty much got this solved here. So nine goes here, ten goes here, we open this up, we drop the ten of clubs there, five of hearts up, six of hearts up, and of course we have solved it. And of course that is going to wrap this up. 
I am signing out. I would like to thank you for watching. If you want more additional tips, of course, you can always uh, check out some of these other videos. Solitaire Complete Tip Guide is probably the best thing I have right now, so would highly recommend checking that out if you have not already. And of course, uh, like I said, that's going to wrap this up. I'm signing out. I would like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.